The C-Series of articulated trucks from Caterpillar incorporates many new features, which these modules aim to highlight and demonstrate. At the start of the working day, it's best practice to conduct a safety walk-around inspection. The details are in your operation and maintenance manual, but the main points to cover are check for loose fittings and leaks, check the tires for damage, check the lights are working, check the brakes are working, check the fluid levels. When you're happy that your machine is in a safe condition to begin operation, de-isolate the machine and make your way into the new cab. Using three points of contact, climb the steps onto the guarded walkway. If you have worked in a Cat P series articulated truck, you will recognize the improvements made to the operator station. The 725C, 730C, and 730CEJ now have all the great operator station features from the B-Series and more. Make it as comfortable as possible by employing the adjustments available on the new operator's seat. Seat suspension. Inflate or deflate the airbag until the white line is in the green indicator. Fore and aft position. Use this handle to move the seat closer or further away and adjust to suit. Thigh support. The newly introduced thigh support helps perfect your seating position. Armrest. Finally, lower the armrest and you're ready to start your C-Series machine. Once the seat is in the appropriate position for you and the seat belt is fastened, you can adjust the steering wheel for tilt and reach. Check that your mirrors are positioned to give you the best visibility. If electric mirrors are fitted, the position can be changed using the switch in the cab. If this option is not fitted, the mirrors can be adjusted manually. If optional heated mirrors are fitted, activate by simply pressing this switch. As with the Cat B series articulated trucks, the color multi-purpose display, or CMPD, is fitted as standard to all C-Series machines. Now supporting up to three additional cameras and featuring an increased number of information parameters, all the information an operator needs is there at the touch of a button. Prior to starting the machine, ensure the gear selection is in neutral. The hoist lever is in the hold position and the park brake is engaged. Start the engine. Hold the brake pedal. Release the park brake and put the machine in gear. Finally, move the hoist lever into the float position. Leaving the lever in hold will limit the machine to first gear. Check the area around you is clear and pull away. The 725C retains on-the-go manual diff lock operation. When approaching a grade or poor underfoot conditions, engage the inner axle diff lock by pressing and holding the floor switch, releasing it when no longer required. For even tougher conditions to lock up the inner and cross axle locks, press both the floor switch and the rocker switch on the dash. The 730C and 730CEJ use the same automatic traction control system that was successfully introduced on the B-Series. Operation of the inner and cross-axle differential locks is now fully automatic and requires no intervention from the operator. The operation of the C-Series retarding system remains unchanged. The three-stage system is engaged via the lever on the right-hand side of the steering column. On approaching the descent of a grade, pre-select the appropriate gear and then select the correct stage of retardation. 
The gear selected for descending a grade should normally be the same as the gear used while ascending. Remove your foot from the throttle and cover the brake. The retarder will slow your descent, and when you approach the bottom of the grade, press the throttle to disengage. The 725C retains the hydraulic retarder, while the 730C and 730C EJ feature a new engine brake retarder. Whenever possible, position trucks at approximate right angles to the face of the bench. This gives the excavator operator an easier target. Position the truck so that the center of the body is in line with the pivot point of the hydraulic excavator. Placing the excavator on a bench above the truck will reduce the lift needed to clear the sides of the truck body. The excavator operator also has a clearer view of the truck and the area around it. The ideal height for the bench is equal to the height of the excavator stick. Ideally, the excavator should be able to load and swing 45 degrees or less to dump the material in the truck body. The shorter the swing, the faster the loading. The loaded swing should go counterclockwise so the excavator operator has a complete view of the truck. Using a scissor tailgate will help to retain material in the truck body. Liner plates will aid in protection against damage when loading abrasive materials and rock. Select a dump area that is as firm and level as possible. This helps ensure machine stability when tipping. Minimizing maneuvering in the tip area can help reduce cycle times and fuel consumption. After coming to a stop with the machine in a straight position, tip the material using the site recommended procedure. If using an ejector, how the material is discharged can be controlled manually using the eject lever. Loads can also be dispersed on the go according to ground speed. That is, the faster you go, the thinner the spread. You can also eject loads statically as you would with a tipper machine. Material can also be ejected safely on side slopes, under overhead obstructions, when going up or down grades, and with the machine steered at an angle for access into tight spaces. In higher regulated countries, to meet emissions regulations, the CAT regeneration system has been further updated and now requires the use of diesel emissions fluid, or DEF. The DEF tank is filled from ground level as required. Please follow safety procedures when handling DEF fluid. When in automatic mode, regeneration is completed as the machine works without any input required by the operator. On job sites that have restrictions, regeneration can be performed manually. With the machine at operating temperature, bring it to a stop in a safe location. Select neutral. Engage the park brake. Make sure you're not pressing the throttle. Then hold down the regen switch for five seconds. If required, regeneration will begin. The machine can restart operation at any time during a manual regeneration. The steering locks should be used when the wheels are lifted from the ground, or when an operator is working in the hitch area. The body-up locking pin should be used at all times when working under the body. With the body raised, ensure the hoist lever is in the body hold position. Then, fit the body prop pin. The hood raise switch is located on the dashboard. To lift or lower the hood, simply press and hold the switch. 
The right side cab window can be used as an emergency exit when it's not possible to leave via the cab door. The left side window in the cab door can also be used as an emergency exit by breaking the glass with the red hammer. To stop the engine, turn the key to the off position. In an emergency, the engine can be stopped from ground level. Open the service hatch, raise the guard and move the toggle switch to the stop position. Tires should be inflated as per the manufacturer's recommendations and to suit the ground conditions. For details of maintenance intervals and scheduled servicing, please consult the operation and maintenance manual. At the end of the day, correct operation of your C-Series articulated trucks make for a more efficient and profitable machine.